Hello everyone, I'm Chin and you can call me Ken. This is the RPG Maker Chrono Engine ABS mode tutorial part 6. And this time I'm going to teach you how to use your armor and weapon. And now let's just take a look. And this is our game and as you can see now I got some weapon and shoes over here. And how to use it was quite simple. Using a shield, just use D. Okay, I fell. And if I successfully shield, there will be an animations. Yes, just like this. And if you wanna hit the enemy, just use the Z button. Okay, sorry, I'm dead. And how to use this is was quite simple. First, we'll check it out at the armors. Well, just simply put this stuff into your armors, and this will become an armor. And that's all. And as for your weapons, choose the weapons you want, and connect your weapon to the two ID. And since I've already created an item, and the item is just a sword, so I just connect this weapon sword to the tool ID1. So let's just look at tool ID1s. And this is tool ID1. And remember, inside your tool map, in this first comment, tool item ID, it could only be item and a skill. So even if you just only want a weapon, you still need to create a skill or an item that just defined your damage right over here. And that's all for the weapons and the armors. Oh, I, I got something. Just inside here. You can change the bottoms you want to what you want. Well, but if you want all your keyboard to be usable, you need another plugin. And the default shield bottom is D, and the default attack bottom is OK, that means Z, space, or enter. And also there's one more thing, it was this shield animation ID. That means when you successfully use the shield, it will show an animation, and it was animation 11. So now let's go back and check it. Okay, so let's get into the game and I try to successfully shoot. Okay, I just keep falling. Come on. Yes, that's the animation. And this is fighting. You can use space, Z. And also Ander. And I think that's all for this tutorials. And if you like it, please subscribe or thumbs up. And let's wait for the next tutorial.